Tanzania's Mikumi National Park last year attracted around 50,000 tourists, around 40% of them foreigners. The coronavirus pandemic brought foreign tourism to halt in March when international flights and parks were closed. The park is seeing visitors slowly return after the government in May allowed flights and tourism to resume, but they are mainly locals. Uh, we came to Mikumi to uh, come and refresh from the quarantine that we were before from the, from the coronavirus, uh, just to have a bit of fresh air. So uh, we came here for the weekend, me and my fellow riders, as you can see. President Johnny Magufuli in May declared Tanzania had defeated the virus a claim that health experts and its neighbors dismiss. Kenya has since tested dozens of Tanzanian trackers as its border positive for COVID-19, while Tanzania has refused to release coronavirus infection figures since April. Nonetheless, Tanzanian authorities say this is the right time to open up for tourists. In Tanzania, to the contrary, the number of cases and the hospitalizations, deaths, has uh, completely uh, gone down over the past few weeks. And uh, it's the right timing uh, as well because we, we've put in place all the necessary measures uh, uh, for prevention and control of the spread of uh, COVID-19 in the country. But not everyone in Tanzania's tourism industry is following the herd. Some say the government's lack of honesty with the coronavirus infection numbers could keep visitors away. There are worries because customers that we depend on are those from outside the country. As you know, our domestic tourism does not go that far to benefit those of us who are working in the tourism sector. Tanzania's tourism trade makes up more than 70% of the country's gross domestic product, while opening to tourists will help lessen economic damage. How Tanzania handles the pandemic will have a much longer term effect. Charles Kombe, for News. Morogoro, Tanzania.